Hi everyone, I'm Catherine and welcome to day one of our safari camp. To order the kit for camp, you can go to candylandcrafts.com. Today we will be making tiger pretzels and zebra pretzels. For today's class in your kit, you will be needing the pretzels, the white chocolate, the orange chocolate, the dark chocolate, and a pastry bag. Other things you'll be needing for today's class not included in your kit is a piece of parchment paper, scissors, and bowls to melt your chocolate. Let's get started. To get started, you're gonna want to grab a piece of parchment paper, a dish to melt your chocolate, and a tall glass. And you're going to melt your white chocolate at 30 second intervals for the first two times, then 10 second intervals after that. I'm gonna show you two different ways to dip your chocolate. You can use a tall glass to just stick the pretzel straight in, or you can use just the dish and a spoon to help guide. So I will show you both ways. So now that your chocolate's ready, I'm going to show you the first way. Make sure it's all nice and smooth and then you're going to take your pretzel and you are going to dip it straight into your white chocolate and then using the spoon, depending how high up you would like your chocolate, you just spoon the chocolate and let it drape down your pretzel. Once your chocolate has coated your pretzel, you're just going to gently shake it and let the excess chocolate uh, drip off your pretzel. You can shake it a little bit, you can tap it, whatever you like. And then I kind of scrape the bottom just a little bit and then I place it on my parchment paper. So the other way you can do it is after your chocolate's melted, you can pour it straight into your tall glass. I recommend not melting your chocolate though into a glass cup because you will get uneven heating temperatures and your chocolate might burn. So just dip your pretzel straight in. If it doesn't reach high enough for you, you can use your spoon to help guide it up a little bit higher to the pretzel, totally up to you. And then the same way we um, got the excess chocolate off of our pretzel, you were going to do the same thing as before. So just shake it gently, let the excess drip off, and put it on your parchment. After you dipped half of your pretzels in the white, you're going to melt your orange chocolate, same way you melted your white. And we are going to dip the pretzels in the orange chocolate. I'm just gonna use my dish, not a cup for this one. If you wanna use a cup like you did with the white, if you tried it that way, then go ahead. Otherwise, I'm just gonna dip all my pretzels in the orange using the bowl and just spooning it on top of the pretzel. So same way you did it with the white, just spoon it on top, let the excess chocolate drip off, and then place it on your parchment paper. Now it's time to melt your dark chocolate. Um, I suggest also grabbing your pastry bag, a tall glass again, and another clean piece of parchment paper. The glass is to help um, hold your pastry bag for you after your chocolate is melted. So you're just gonna fold the top over, place it inside of your cup, and then have the opening. It's an extra set of hands for you when your chocolate's melted and you're gonna pour it straight into your pastry bag. After you get all your dark chocolate into your pastry bag, you are going to unfold the top and then you can either put a rubber band or you can twist it just so it can help make sure no chocolate comes out the top of the bag when you are piping the stripes onto your pretzels. Now using a pair of scissors, you're just gonna cut a small hole into the tip of your pastry bag. And the first pretzels we're gonna do are the tiger stripes. So I just squeeze a little bit out to test it. So I'm gonna grab an orange pretzel and then just constant pressure on my chocolate bag. And I'm just gonna go back and forth across the tiger pretzel to get the nice little striped effect. So you're just gonna do this for all of your orange pretzels. Again, just squeeze the chocolate constant pressure and just using your hand, go back and forth across it. For the zebra pretzels, what you're going to do is, using the same bag of chocolate, you're going to grab your white pretzels and you're kind of going to make like V um, stripes connected across your zebra pretzels. Um, you don't want the thin little lines back and forth like the tiger, so just pipe little stripes back and forth across. And I connect some of them, some of them you can't connect, you can do whatever you like. Um, 
these are more staggered and connected to get the different look for the zebra. So again, just squeeze, go up, down, V, up, down, this way, that way, whichever way you would like. Um, all stripes are different, none are usually the same. And that is how you make your zebra and tiger pretzels. Thanks for making zebra and tiger pretzels with me today for day one of our camp. Tomorrow we will be making our lion and elephant cupcakes. If you have any questions at all, you can reach out to Candyland Crafts or to me on Instagram and Facebook at Pastry Mama. Don't forget to share your pictures. We'd love to see them. Bye.